Hello and welcome to C-Sharp Logical Puzzles, Games and Algorithms. In this video, we will continue to explore loops and recursion by coding a classic C-Sharp exercise you are likely to do during your job interview. It's called FISBUS. Now the exercise instructions are very simple. We are to display integers from 1 to 100, but every integer divisible by 3 should display word FIS and every integer divisible by 5 should display the word buzz. So the output should look something like this. 1, 2, then number 3 is of course divisible by 3, so we'll display fizz, then 4, 5 is divisible by 5, so we display buzz, and so forth, then we have 14, and then number 15 is divisible by 3 and 5, so we'll display fizz buzz. And we'll do it all the way to 100. So 99 will be fizz, because again, divisible by 3, and 100 will be buzz because it's divisible by 5. Alright, simply enough, right? So let's start with coding the solution using a simple loop first. I'm in my Visual Studio 2017 and uh, like I said, we'll start with the loop. So the first thing I'm just going to display that we are actually using a loop solution because later we will also code it with a recursion. So I'll simply do a console.write line that for loop solution will be displayed right now. So in order to display the numbers 1 through 100, we'll obviously use a for loop. And we are starting from number 1, not 0, so i equals 1. And then i, we want all the way up to 100 and included 100, so less or equal to 100. We'll be looping from 1 to 100 and increase i by one with each iteration. So if we were just to display the numbers, all we would do is console at the right line and display the variable i. However, we need to display the words fizz and buzz depending on whether the number i is divisible by three or five. And to do that, we are going to be using a mod operator. In other words, if the number is divisible by three, meaning the result of the division is a whole number, the result of the mod operation will be zero. If it is not divisible, meaning the result is decimal number, or in, in other words, there is a reminder of the division, the mod operation will be the reminder of the division. And for our purposes, basically we'll take the mod operation, and if the result is anything other than zero, then we know that the number is not divisible and in our case, it's not divisible by three or five. So let's do an if statement and simply do if i mod operator, which is the percentage symbol, if it's divisible by three, in other words, if i mod three equals zero, then we'll display the word fizz. Now we could just do console.write line, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to declare a variable above our for loop that will hold the actual text that we are going to be displaying. Remember, we are going to be displaying the word fizz, also the word buzz, and also i itself for all the numbers that are not divisible by three or five. So I'll do a string and I'll call it text. So in our if statement, if the number is divisible by three, our text will equal fizz. Else if, the number is divisible by 5, so if the i mod 5 equals 0, then our text will equal the word buzz. Otherwise, we'll simply display the number itself. So we will do an else statement and display the i, so our text will equal i. However, i is an integer, so I need to convert it to string, so i dot to string. Now this would work, however, there's one condition that we are missing, and that's when the number is divisible by three or five, like for example, 15. So to check for this condition, we'll simply have to see if the i mod three equals zero, and also if the i mod five equals zero. If both these conditions are true, then we'll display fizzbuzz. Now, we have to position that on the top before the other two conditions, and that's because this is the least likely condition. If we come to 15, 
and we have the condition coded here let's just do that else if the i mod 5 actually mod 3 first equals 0 and the i mod 5 equals 0 then our text will equal fizzbuzz now you can already see that there's a problem with it and that's because the first condition will be true before this one is true in other words if we come to number 15 we'll check if 15 is divisible by 3 and it is so text will equal fizz and all the other conditions will be skipped therefore like I said this has to be our first condition so I'm going to copy paste this and place it on the top so this is our first condition so it's gonna be our if statement and everything else will be else if and finally the last remains as else which is the number itself that we are displaying now we could also simplify this if the i mod 3 equals 0 and i mod 5 equals 0 we can simply check if i mod 15 equals 0 and that's because 3 times 5 is 15 so every number that is divisible by 3 and 5 has to be divisible by 15 so for example 15 or 30 and so forth so this is our condition within our loop and then still within our loop we will display the text so we will do a console dot write line and we'll display the text that is being assigned during our if statements all right let's run it and see what we get all right so here's the for loop solution and you can see we have number one two and number three displays fizz then we have four number five displays buzz number six again divisible by three so it displays fizz and so forth and you can see the number 15 has fizz buzz also number 30 has fizz buzz and when we scroll down we, you can see that we have 98 and then 99 which is fizz because it's divisible by three and buzz because that's obviously divisible by five now before we go let me just show you how to do it if you wanted it backwards if you want to display from 100 to 1 and it's very simple our condition will not change we'll simply change the condition within our loop so i will now equal to 100 because that's where we are starting from we're displaying numbers from 100 and we are displaying numbers as long as i is greater or equal to 1 however since we are displaying from 100 to 1 instead of i plus plus we are decreasing i from 100 all the way to 1 so we need to do i minus minus so if i run it now you can see that we starting from 100 which is bus then fizz is 99 98 97 and so forth you can see that 75 is fizz bus because it's divisible by 3 and 5 so it's 60 and when we scroll down you can see we have 3 2 and 1 and 3 is obviously fizz so this is our loop solution and uh, in the next video we are going to display the output using recursion so i'll see you in the next video